All right, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Dorfler here, uh, here to provide you a just a quick rundown of problem bank C. Um, unfortunately, we can't do this in class, so I figured for now this will be the best option, uh, kind of last minute uh, timing on this. So we'll do our best. Um, again, <clears throat> along with this video, I also have a... Um, the, the submission portal for this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to post this um, PDF of the questions of the problem bank, and then I'm just going to assign it to each one of you and just put your responses um, back into your copy or whatever, and then just submit it by 11.59 this evening. Uh, you probably already are. I'll have it done. <clears throat> Another thing I'm going to do, and the same thing is I'm going to add my solutions to the um, vector uh, practice, the additional practice that I assigned yesterday. I didn't assign it, that I provided yesterday. Um, so we can take, uh, you can take a look at um, how you did, if you did it. Again, I recommend that you do it. I'm not requiring that you do it. So anyway, let's get started here so you can go about your day. <clears throat> so you only had a handful of questions on here, but I'm I'm certain that uh, after your first or second problem that you realize that uh, these can take a little bit of time. That's why I didn't assign every single one. Anyway, let's look at number one here. On U.S. Highway 212, it extends 55 kilometers at 37 degrees north of east between Newell and Mudbutt, South Dakota. It then continues for 66 kilometers nearly due east from Mudbutt to Faith, South Dakota. If you drive along this part of the U.S. Highway 212, what will be your total displacement? So again, you may have tried to uh, do the the diagram or the vector drawing uh, as a whole right off the bat here. It's possible, but it is very difficult. So, like as I'll show you in the first two questions, um, I did it that way. But then the following questions, I kind of did it in individual vector drawings, which makes it, to me, a whole lot easier. But either way, what you need to do in these types of questions is take each change of direction, each displacement and each direction um, as its own triangle. And you need to solve both, you need to solve their vectors of each of those uh, triangles. And so, <clears throat> really, like I said, it's just a combination of what we did in the first two uh, problem banks here. So anyway, let's... Ooh, that is blurry. All right. Uh, well, let's see if we can zoom in a little bit. All right. Try to do our best here. This is the work that I've done. Okay. So again, we had the first stretch at 55 kilometers in length at a... Uh, angle or a, a direction of 37 degrees north of east. The second one was 66 kilometers, uh, essentially due east, which would make it a 0, 0.0 degree. So <clears throat> using the cosine and sine function to resolve our x and y vac uh, vectors. So for each one, I guess you notice that I have the subscript of one on this displacement and that theta, a two on this displacement and that theta. That just helps me keep straight the changes in directions. So for the first one, I'm just going to use the cosine for x, the sine for y. I'm going to take the displacement multiplied by the trig function and the angle. And for our first displacement, for the uh, x or horizontal displacement, it's, or sorry, vector, it's 44 kilometers. Uh, for the y, it's 33. Moving on to the next, where it's 66 kilometers in length, nearly due east. Again, uh, cosine sine function. You find the x is 66 kilometers and the sine is zero, which makes, or the y is zero because if we're due east, we're not going to have any vertical components of that particular vector. So once we've determined those two um, components of our travels, we then sum up the x's, sum up the y vectors, and we get a total of 110 vectors, sorry, pff, vectors, 110 kilometers for the x and 33 kilometers for the y. Now that we have our total sums of our x and y, we can then use Pythagorean theorem to help solve for our overall uh, resultant 
vector or our displacement from where we started to where we ended. And we find that we are about 115 kilometers or if you round it to 120 kilometers, that's fine. And then that's our resultant displacement. So that's part of our answer. And then to find the, um, do, 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 the he direction uh, from our origin, he used the inverse tangent function, uh, y divided by x, and we get uh, 17 degrees north of east. You could have also done x divided by y, and then the inverse tangent, and that would have given you uh, approximately 73 degrees east of north. So if you did either one, it's going to work just as long as you you know, do it, uh, you, you note the direction correctly. So again, you, you could have 17 degrees north of east if you did y divided by x, or you'd have 73 degrees east of north if you did x divided by y. All means the same thing, okay? Um, but again, it all kind of depends on how you draw the picture. So going back to the picture, again, if you try to do the um, diagram of all the vectors in one swoop, this is what it should kind of look like. And this would be your overall theta right here. Okay. I'm no artiste and I freehanded it, which we can do because we're using math functions and not measurements. All right. Let's move on to number three here. Number three is one in class that I mentioned that I have seen um, multiple interpretations of. Um, I'm going to show you my interpretation of how I read the question. And then I'll show you an interpretation of somebody else's for if I can get my copy of it, um, which again, kind of throws you for a loop and it kind of frustrates you in the same time because you have to figure out which is um, the correct one. And really they're all correct as long as you have the right math and the right directions, which again, doesn't really help the frustration because oftentimes you know, a teacher or somebody might have it in one way. Really, the only tried and true method to get this 100% correct in its interpretation is to actually be present and visualize and have somebody provide you a video or if you were there in person or if somebody actually drew it for you, for you to have the right interpretation. Otherwise, it's kind of left up to you. And you're trying to guess what the author of the question is envisioning in their head. Trust me, I know. That's why a lot of times, uh, when, especially when it comes to vectors, if it's not 100% uh, specific, that's hard to say, um, then, you know, we kind of, uh, I, I, I have leeway there for you, okay? Anyway, <clears throat> back to number three here. And I didn't do number two because it dealt with Wrigley Field, and I'm just sorry I don't do Wrigley Field stuff. <laughs> now, if it's Soldier Field, that'd be just fine. Anyway, number three, a bullet traveling 850 meters ricochets from a rock. The bullet travels in another 640 meters, but at an angle of 36 degrees from its previous forward position or motion. What is the result in displacement of the bullet? Again, what does that last part mean at an angle of 36 degrees from its previous forward motion? Again, I'm going to show you how I interpreted this question. I'm going to even show you the drawing, uh, or my crude drawing, that is, um, and go from there. So here's how I envision this. Okay, here's this individual right here, and using the object to fire this bullet. And it's going to travel, again, 850 if I can write that here, 850 meters. It ricochets off a rock right here. Here's a rock, okay? And it ricochets. So if the bullet is going, I'm, and I just assumed it's going horizontal, okay? And so if, if we were to imagine that, that bullet's continuing to go horizontally, you know, if it didn't ricochet and it continued to go horizontally, then it would be flat still. But it ricocheted at 36 degrees from its original forward motion. So I had this as ricocheting up this direction, and this will be theta 2 here, okay, which would be 36 degrees, okay? That would be, that is 36 degrees um, from its original forward motion. That's how I interpreted this, okay? Another individual that I found, because I was just trying to rack my brain on this, thought that, you know, as that bullet 
tra traveled 850 meters that it actually ricocheted backwards 36 degrees from its original, okay? Which would give you a comp an entirely different set of calculations, okay? Uh, so I'm not certain which way you interpreted it, but I'm going to stick with and solve for how it just continued going upwards like this. And, you know, um, you know, we know that bullets or objects can ricochet backwards. We also know that they can ricochet continuing forward just at a different angle. Oh, take a deep breath, everybody. Take a deep breath. Okay. For the most part, on quizzes and tests, they are pretty straightforward. Okay. And again, if you have any questions during those times, I'll be uh, gladly or glad to help you. Although, um, I don't know if we're going to be present in class to do so. But again, I'm always available through email. If you um, if you have questions, you can email me or add a message on Classroom. Blah, 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 blah. Let's get back to the questions. Okay. So again, splitting this up into two motions, two different scenarios. Okay. Your first one traveled 850 meters directly east. Um, or as it said, um, do, 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 you know, traveling 150, it doesn't even tell you. Okay, so oftentimes you'll just want to assume that it's traveling to the right, just to keep things simple. All right, so you do your, your cosine sine for X and Y, you get 850 meters for the X, zero for the Y because it's just going straight um, to the right. Second um, motion is, again, cosine and sine, 640 meters at 36 degrees. You get for the X, 520 meters, and for the Y, 380. Go ahead and sum up the X, sum up the Y, put those into the Pythagorean theorem, and you find that the total displacement of the bullet from the original starting location is 1,420 meters. You might have a little bit of rounding going on. And again, inverse tangent. Uh, now, this is an interesting one. Inverse tangent, again, y over x, you'll get 16 degrees. And the wording is weird. If you can come up with something better, by all means, to the side of the initial displacement, okay? Um, again, that's the best thing I could come up with. Or if you did x over y, you should have 74 um, degrees to the side of the initial. Again, it's, it's all just kind of weird, you know, in a situation like that. Come up with something clever that works. I'm all for it, Okay. Moving on, now you're going to see how I saw these doing individual drawings, okay? Um, we go to number four. And as you see, number four took a little space on um, took a little space on the old notebook here. All right, so again, number four, in the cable car system in San Francisco, blah, 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 you have a copy of this, you can read it, okay? There are three different changes of direction, okay? So again... Splitting them up into three, solving for those vectors, X and Y for this one, uh, X and Y for the second motion, and X and Y for the third motion. Again, um, if you need to, you can I'm gonna try to get that a little straight. Eh, that's a little better. Okay, but as you see here, that for each motion, like I'll just go for the first motion here. Um, it was originally designed to transport large numbers of people, blah, 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 blah. If you ride seven blocks on the Powell Street cable car from the terminal at Market Street to Pine Street, you will travel two times zero, zero times 10 to the second meters on level ground. Okay. Again, it really doesn't tell us if it's, you know, to the east or the west, whatever. So we make the assumption that it is to the right or to the east. So that's why you see, you know, I didn't label it meters. Okay. My first diagram for my first motion 200 meters to the right, okay? Second one, do the same thing. 300 meters, but it's going to be um, at three degrees to the horizontal. So I draw it right here as three degrees to the horizontal. And the last one, again, same thing. You have 200 meters at 8.8 .8 degrees to the horizontal. So again, a lot of two horizontals there, but just simplify it. Break each motion into its own coordinate system, okay? And over here, I just have kind of the, um, all three of them combined just to give myself an overall picture, 
so I can draw the resultant vector there. So I kind of so I knew at what direction it was going to go. Okay. So um, once you solve all those component vectors for all three uh, motions, you get a total displacement of seven point zero times ten to the second meters. So roughly 700 meters. And then you'll find that at an angle of three degrees, or sorry, 3.8 um, degrees, but it's supposed to be, do, 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 do. why do I have meters? I don't know why I have meters. Okay. Double check that. It may be to be meters, but um, I think I made a boo-boo here. So I'll double check that. Um, ba -ba Boom. So yeah, definitely need to, yeah, this would be degrees. What am I doing? Um, 3.8 meters, ah, 3.8 degrees above the horizontal. I will get it right. You know, I'll get the words right out of my mouth here eventually. Okay. Whew. So again, double check your work as we're going. Number five, I'm not really happy with number five. Sorry, phone off. I'm not really happy with number five um, because there's just so many different ways to interpret it. Um, I did it one way. I checked it with the book. They had it a different way. I didn't like it. Here's what the book had. They had an overall displacement of 66 kilometers, and they had an ang they had an angle of 46 degrees uh, south of east. So if you had something similar to that, let me know. Or if you had something different, I completely understand because, like I said, I had it one way. The book had it a different way. It is frustrating because uh, if you're not necessarily there to visualize it, um, it's just it's difficult. Okay. It's difficult. So I'm going to kind of bypass number five here, move on to number seven, our last one here. I'm going to try to, no, no, that doesn't really help anything, does it? Okay. So moving into number seven. Okay. Do, 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 do. City of Amsterdam, you have a large barge ship, you have multiple um, changes in direction. Okay. You've got three changes in direction. So again, here, I've drawn for each change of direction just what I visualize it occurring as its own motion in a quadrant system, solving uh, using cosine sine again, solving for each vector component for each motion, summing them up, use Pythagorean theorem, you should get um, 3.66 times 10 to the third meters for your overall resultant displacement. And then your angle of your displacement should be 57.3 degrees north of east if you did y divided by x. If you flip it, you'll have the um, remainder of this in 90 degrees, and it'd be east of north. Okay, that was a little bit longer than I thought it was going to be, but we at least got it done. So hopefully you check this out. Again, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, again, along with this video, I'll be posting the uh, uh, assignment submission uh, for this for problem bank C as well as the results for the vector quiz additional practice and if you look at my solutions to the vector quiz additional practice number one um, I didn't I meant to cross out the direction of the resultant but I didn't, it didn't ask for you to solve that. It just, I just feel, I think it asked for you to solve the magnitude. So don't pay attention to it. I, in my new version of it, I crossed it out. Um, Cause I noticed that I did it for some reason. So just don't worry about the direction, the angle at which the result is in the um, uh, vector quiz additional practice. Anyway, I've kept you long enough for today. I'm going to uh, close out this video with uh, be paying attention to classroom, and I can't wait to see you all back in here. Bye-bye.